Hey, today we're going to open and build and race the Energy Racer car. Howdy, thanks for joining me. I'm Wayne. We, uh, we're at the dollar store again. Picked up this little kit called Energy Racer Model and Kinetic Energy Kit. It's a little wooden car you build and it runs off rubber band power it looks like. Make a great project for a high school science fair or something. We're gonna get it built, show you how it does. Okay, here it is. Runs off rubber band power. Looks pretty interesting. We'll get it open, get it built, show you how to build it, and show you how it runs. Okay, let's open up the box here. Here it is. We'll take the pieces out. Looks like it's all in a little envelope there to keep it all together. Chassis, wheels. There's your stickers. Make it look good. Instructions on how to put it together, how to drive it, how to make it go faster and all. We'll get into that in a few minutes. There's all your parts. There's your chassis. Your glue. Now you have to unscrew the nozzle here. Remove this little stopper in it right there. Put the nozzle back on. You're ready to start gluing. Just want to be sure you don't get any glue on the axles and glue them to the body. That will keep the wheels from turning. This is going to be what your rubber band fastens to. Here's your driver. Alright, front axle. Put a little bit on the edge there. Glue it to the wheel. Remember, don't get anything inside the chassis on the axle or the wheels won't turn. Slip that through, but don't let it touch. Put a little glue on this side. Don't want them up real close. Get them in there snug, but not too tight. We don't want any glue in there. There's the front wheels. Here's your rear wheels. Got to glue this piece in because our rubber band connects to it. Glue one of our rear wheels on. Again, don't get any glue inside that axle holes to... It'll glue your axle down, the wheels won't turn. Slip the axle in. Oops, I glued that black piece in too early, didn't I? Well, we'll pull it out because it ain't stuck yet. Slide your axle in, put that back in. Your rubber band hooks to that. Glue your other wheel on. Don't get any glue. It's real important you don't get any glue inside that axle. Straighten it up so your black piece is in the center there. Okay, let that dry. All right, let's add a few decals, make the car look a little better. There's the tire stuff. Let's see what we do here. How about the outside, the rubber part of the tire for the back wheel? 
just peel off and stick it on. Now the other side. Now the rims, the inside of the rims, or the mags, whatever you want to call it, put that right there. How about a front grill? Well, no, let's go with a number first. What kind of number we're going to use here? I think I'll use the 03. Zero 03, right there. You can put these anywhere you want, but that's where I'm going to put it. Now a grill. Which one looks the best here? Let's see. I like this one. Front grill. Stick it down. There we go. What else? Flames. I like flames. I'm from the old school. They don't do many flames anymore. Stick down, just like that. Now it came with some rubber bands for traction on the rear wheels. Show you how this does. Slip them on right there. Just put them on and straighten them out. Make sure there's not any wrinkles in it. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, but. There's one side. Needs to just go on the rear wheels because that's where the traction is going to be. Alright. Power now. It came with two rubber bands. We're going to start off with one. Back here and it slips on the little black rod you glued to the axle back there. You can back it up. I want to do one complete turn. Ooh, look at that. That looked pretty good. I have to get it down the floor and try it now. Okay, the instructions comes with all kinds of data sheets. Shows you how to figure the distance and time and speed of the car. We're going to figure the speed of the car here. We'll show you how that works. <clears throat> Put your rubber band on the black rod right there. Okay, and. Back the car up one complete turn right there. Now what we're going to do is mark this right here and take the distance and the time and see what it does. Ready? Get set. Go. Looks like about three seconds. And let's measure and see how far it went. It came with a tape measure by the way. So we got let's see looks like 41 inches 41 inches divide the distance by the time it was four seconds we're talking about 10 inches a second okay that's not bad let's try some more st stuff here now Put it down here in the floor. Run it a couple times. 
All right, let's get down the floor with it here. Let's hook the rubber band on. Remember the little pole back there. One complete turn. See how far it'll go in the floor with just one turn. Not very far, was it? All right. Let's do that again. How about two turns? One. See, watch your black rod there. Two. Right there. Set it down on the floor and see what it'll do. Oh, yeah. A little over twice as far, wasn't it? All right. Let's put a little washer on there. A little weight. Try it again with two turns. One. Two. All right. Actually went a couple of inches further, didn't it? This time we're going to hook a second rubber band on it. And we'll get them both here, like so. Hook it on the tire. Let's do two turns. Okay. Now we're ready. We'll set it down. We'll watch it go. Yeah, that was a whole lot faster, wasn't it? Well, you can get an idea now how this works. The uh, instruction sheet that comes with it shows you how to figure the speed of the car and all that. You, two rubber bands, one rubber band. You can add some washers to it for some weight. Various things you can do. This will make a good little school project. All right. I recommend it, so there it is. It's the Energy Racer. We'll see you next time.